Hello, my name is Cayman, and in today's video I'll show you how to build a super simple dried kelp farm. And as you can see, there you can see the farm in action. It basically works like this. Kelp grows up, and then the pistons will break the kelp. Quite simple, am I right? And then all of the kelp will fall down inside this hopper. And once the kelp goes inside these hoppers, it will go inside the smoker. And this smoker will turn the kelp in dried kelp. And at first you will have to place a few stacks of coal, not this many actually, maybe like two to three stacks of coal in here, so you will get loads of dried kelp. And after that you can craft these into dried kelp blocks and use those instead. And if we take out a lever, place it in here, flick it on, take out an item from here, you will get XP. And over time you will get even more XP. So in a way, this farm is also a XP bank. And here are some of the items you will need for this build. Some building blocks, some slabs, two and a half stacks of glass, two chests, one barrel, five hoppers, one smoker, 17 fence gates, 45 observers, 45 pistols, and 45 pieces of redstone dust. Two stacks of kelp, and two buckets of water so you can make an infinite water source. So let's start with this section down here. You take out a chest, place it down. Behind it, you will crouch and place a hopper. And you will have to crouch. So crouch, right click the chest, and now the hopper should be connected. Yes, indeed. On top of the hopper, crouch again, place a smoker, and a hopper on the face of the furnace, and a hopper above. On the sides, those hoppers as well. Keep crouching, otherwise I'll just open the hopper. Amazing. Up here goes a barrel. Inside this barrel you will place your fuel. So let's take out some coal and place it inside the barrel. It will go inside the smoker. Amazing. Then let's go in here. On both sides you have to go seven blocks out from this hopper. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Same thing on his side. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and seven. And then behind here, let's place a block. Same thing in here. Then we can connect this up by going here and placing a row of blocks in here. Same goes behind here. Now take out your water buckets and make yourself an infinite water source. Right in here. From here you can refill your buckets. So place a bucket of water in here and in here. Alright. Now take out your fence gates. You can also use some sides if you'd like to, but I'll use fence gates in this tutorial. Fence gates go here, just keep crouching and placing them down all the way to the other side. And then you have to open them up, which is quite simple, as you can see. Now take out your building blocks and place two more rows behind here. Then the third one. So as you can see, we need three blocks of space on the kelp to tease this case. So yeah, the third block, you will plant the kelp eventually. Then back here, place one block out. Just a full row, and in here goes the pistons and the observers. So the pistons will go on top of these blocks, but we don't want to place pistons or observers on the slide blocks, as you can see, otherwise the kelp can get stuck. So yeah, let's go here and start placing the pistons on the second block on both sides. So this is the first block and this is the second block. Then just a full row of pistons. Then the observers, same thing back here. And then some blocks behind the pistons. Alright, eventually we will place some redstone dust above there, but right now we don't have to yet. Alright, and then let's just build the sides up. And this is what you should have right now. Let's go up. And continue building. This time we will plant the kelp on top of these observers. So we had to go one block out in here. Alright. 
Then we can peel off the sides up once again. Same thing on this side. And then on top of here goes the pistons. Then the blocks behind the pistons. And then the observers above the pistons. Alright. Quite simple, am I right? Just keep building the walls up. And done. And then the last layer. Again, one block behind the observers. Then the sides up. Same thing in here. And then the pistons. Observers. The sides. And also the blocks behind the pistons. All right. And like that. And the last thing we had to do is to place some blocks around here. So we can place the water on top of these observers. You can also go one block out in here. And please place some slabs above these blocks. So no mobs or anything can spawn up here, because that would be quite annoying. Place also the blocks in here. And yeah, one more row of blocks in here as well. In here you can place class if you'd like to. You can also just place some regular old blocks if you don't want to see the inside. But I always like to see the inside, so I will place some class in here. Now refill your water bucket from the infinite water source and go up here. Place the water on the top row above the observers. Simple as that. Then go down here and go two blocks up to every single kelp. This will turn the blocks into water source blocks and we want that to happen. Also do this on the sides as you can see. Then the third row. Now break the two top rows of the kelp. And now it looks better. Then go here, place the redstone dust behind the observers. And amazing. Also remember to break the kelp from the sides here. Same thing with the middle section. Place down the kelp. And then break the kelp. Also the side ones. And then place the redstone on the middle row. Okay, then the last part. Kelp. Break the kelp. And remember to break the kelp from the sides. Just do it, because it will cause some problems later on if you don't, if you don't do it. And then the redstone behind the top layer. Look at that. Now let's try this out. And it works like it should. Amazing. Now take out the glass and just place it in here. If you don't have enough glass, no worries, you can use any other block you have at hand. But yeah, I just like to see the inside of the farm, so that's why I'm using glass. Now let me place some coal inside the barrel. A few stacks. Let me AFK for one full hour and see how many or how much kelp we can get. And for one hour of AFK with his farm you can expect this much dried kelp. So one, two, three, four, five, six, over six stacks of dried kelp per hour. Which is not too bad I'd say. So if you had any questions or found this tutorial useful, let me know down in the comments. And also, please consider subscribing and all that stuff. Hit the like button and uh, I don't know. And also go check out this new SMP I just joined. It's awesome. It's been so much fun. Playlist up on the card right now. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. My name is Kamen. Mm. Bye bye.